Jim Stepanich now starting the second game. And starts out just the way he started the first game. He's won, as I mentioned, no tournaments on the PBA Tour, but he doesn't play in many. Maybe, oh, four to six years, about all. Very smooth, deliberate delivery. That's his average. Not bad. Well, he's surely ready. Going to that line very slow, very smooth, very deliberate. That's pretty snow, slow, smooth, and deliberate, too. Well, the same results were starting out the way we did in the first game. 300, but no money. January 19th, $100,000 showboat invitational from Las Vegas. Here's Jim Stefanich again, going for strike number four in the first game, which he won over Earl Anthony at five in a row. Now he's trying for strike number five here in the second game against Glenn Carlson. And he has it! Looks pretty good, too. Stephanie's coming up. Is it? It is! It is! And Jim Stephanie now has seven strikes in a row. In the seventh, he's trailing Jim Stephanie by 22 pins. this one there's going to be a real amount of concern in the house and he looks pretty good with it Firestone Tournament of Champions. What a lineup and what prize money. This man needs some strikes. Oh, that's outside. And uh, that was one that he needed. He could strike out for 278, which would have made the pressure on Stephanie uh, very, very great. This is it for $10,000. Strike number 13. Oh, he pulled it up. And he's now being down on the floor. A perfect game for Jeff Stephanie. $10,000. And there's the cut. Cut it by Frank Esposito. Cut it by Bob Trappi. He's the president of the Midas, and a tremendous crowd here gives him a huge ovation, which he deserves. Here it is again. Beautiful arm swing, full extended follow through. Now, I thought he pulled that slightly. He was about a board inside of his target. But he didn't go around the side. The ball stayed straight and held right in the one free pocket. <laughs> 